I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber Arum. Arum, thanks a lot for posting this brilliant question. It gives me an opportunity to show how to work in the reverse order from a tree diagram where the probability is given and we're trying to figure out how many items or objects were there. And this question also has a very special twist, part D. So let's get into it and I hope many of my subscribers will benefit. So we are talking about probability of dependent and independent events. In this particular example, you will understand how do we work in the reverse order from a tree diagram. The question here is, a bag contains red and green balls. Two balls are chosen at random without replacement. The tree diagram shows the possible probabilities. So the first time the probability of getting the green ball is 3 over 5 and the red ball is 2 over 5. So that is first pick. And now the second pick. Let's understand this one. If I have already taken a green ball then there is one less green ball and the probability of getting the second green is 11 over 19 so that is how you can read this tree diagram right and that's a standard way of representing now based on this we have four questions the very first one is calculate the probability that both balls are green that means this times this correct second Calculate the probability that two balls are of different colors. Right? So one is green, one is red. C. How many balls are green? Excellent question. D. Of the green balls, half have red spot. Calculate the probability that of the two chosen balls, neither has a red spot. Now that's a brilliant question. And I think it is only because of part D that this question has come to me. I'd like you to pause the video, understand, solve and then look into my solution. Okay, so let's begin. The very first one is straightforward. It says calculate the probability that both balls are green, right? So, so if we go take this path, first green, second green, that means both balls are green. So that is the only one, right? In the next, we see green and red combination. So this is green and then the red ball, right? So that is the combination. And in the next, it is red and green. So red followed by green. And the last one here gives you the fourth option. When you pick two balls, both could be red, right? So in this, what we see is calculate the probability of both balls being green. That means we are taking this path. So when you take this path, the probability gets multiplied. What you also see here is that these dependent events, the number of balls have been decreased, right? We'll see, that will help us to answer part C. Anyway, the answer for part A will be 3 over 5, since they are independent events, they get multiplied, right? So one after the other, this and that. So we need both the conditions this and that so whenever it is this and so at the and operation means multiplication so you get that as your answer correct this you can always use calculator to calculate this answer so it is 3 times 11 which is 33 divided by 5 times 19 which is half of 190, so it is 33 over 95, is it okay? Oh, 33, I'm sorry. 33 over 95. Now part B is, calculate the probability that two balls are of different colors. So, so one could be green or green and red. So this is and plus or this. Do you understand the operation? So, so it could be green and red or 
red or green that makes different colors so it means these two path right so the answer will definitely be we'll do 3 over 5 times 8 over 19 plus or we could put this path right which is 2 over 5 times 12 over 19 times 12 over 19 right so these path you will see they have both the combination so they have uh, green followed by red or they have red followed by green so that is what we mean for part B right so you can use your calculator add this up and find the answer part C how many balls are green now that's kind of interesting sometimes you may get lost in this look at the end look at the end so if I see both green balls that means one was picked and therefore 19 were left so total right 11 green and total is 20 so from here you can see that the number of green balls is one has been picked 11 over 19 will give you that the green balls are 12 right and the total number of balls let me write total number separately so total number of balls will be one more than 19 which is 20 and clearly from here we will also write down how many are red balls right so the red balls will be 20 take away 12 which is 8 and you can confirm from here red red combination you have already taken one red left with 7 that means red should have been 8 right so that is the combination of balls since we need this in part d i have written for all three i hope that makes sense now let's look into part d which is of the green balls half have red spots so that means we're talking about half having red spots kind of like this do you understand half having red spots calculate the probability that of the two chosen balls neither has a red spot neither has a red spot so that is a very tricky question you can actually use this diagram and find the answer however I'll do it on the next page so let's move on to the next page we'll begin from here that is to say that we know that there are in all 12 green balls and 8 red balls half of the green balls are spotted and we want neither to have a red spot so so I'll do it in a new page we'll actually again draw the tree diagram and also learn how to draw a tree diagram for such conditions and find the answer i hope that makes sense right so in this page what we have here is the same question part d here i'm adding that we have total 12 green balls out of this 12 there are six green balls with red spot and six green balls which are totally green right so these are half with red spot and these are half without red spot right so there are total 12 green balls and we have how many red balls we have eight red balls eight red balls that means total is 20 we're talking about without replacement so that is the summary of the question and now we'll try to solve this question i would like you to pause the video answer this question and then check with my solution now my approach to solve this question is to show you how to make a tree diagram for such scenarios and that will also give me an opportunity to solve it in a simpler way so that all of you can really understand so question number d again for us is of the green balls half have red spot calculate the probability that of the two chosen balls neither has a red spot and this is without replacement right so what we will do is 
we know that we have 12 green balls half of them means six are with red spot six without red spot so i'm writing six gr half with red spot six gg half without red spot eight let me write this as rr that means totally red so total we have 20 balls to work with and without replacement we are taking one after the other we want probability that neither of the two chosen has a red spot right so let's make a tree diagram so there are three possibilities now you could get green 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 or green red okay so let's say this represents green green for us green green and the green red let me take this as kind of like this and then we have the red totally red let me take it on this side so that is the first case if i pick up the green green which is one is green which is we are saying absolutely green color without spots there are six out of 20 so the possibility is six out of 20. for a ball with spots red spot also the probability is six of 20 and for the one which is totally red it is eight out of 20. so i'm not simplifying this as it was done in the previous tree diagram that was a test question so they try to confuse you with those simplified numbers now without replacement we select another ball or pick another ball randomly in that case also we again have these three possibilities so so it could be either the absolutely green ball picked up or it could be the one with spots or you could pick the one which has which is absolutely red now in the first case since we have already picked one with green green second one one less than this and total number of balls have become 19 right so so this probability is 5 over 19 now if i have to if i get the one with spots going through this path six are still with spots so six over 19 and same is the case with red balls none of them has been picked so far eight were already there so it is eight over one ball has been picked so eight over 19 correct for green red also we have these three combinations which is to say that it could be either absolutely green color or the green with spots or it could have it could be absolutely red right so these are again three combinations uh, so this is we are again picking up absolutely green this is green with red spots and this is red right so as we did earlier absolutely green green with red spot and red now if you already picked one with spots that number has decreased the other numbers have not decreased so six less one will be five and the others have not decreased so it'd be six out of 20 i'm sorry i'm sorry 19 19 because one has been put which may not be green with red spot now here we have eight out of 19 correct now in the third case again the same three possibilities that is it could be absolutely green ball or one with spots or red ball again right or red ball again so if you pick red ball again we have already taken away one 19 left and seven red so it is seven over 19 with orange we didn't pick any so far if i am going through this path six are there so six out of 19 and with green again we didn't pick any so far so it is again six out of 19 so what we did was for the second pick we have all these combinations and what we are looking for is calculate the probability that of the two chosen balls neither has a red spot right so so we don't want the one with red spot 
So you could do one thing. You could actually add the ones which do not have a red spot at all. That means you could add these. Right. So this orange lines lead to red spots. So in the path, if that orange line is not there, those could be, you know, those could be added up. Um, I mean, uh, the second pick, I mean, right. So this could be added up. These could be added up. These could be added up. This path could be added up to give you the answer. This is one way of doing it. The other way is we can do one minus picking up the orange, right? So one minus picking up the orange. So that is your choice. One minus picking up the orange. Is it okay? So I prefer that. So what we will do here is we'll find the probability by complement that is one minus probability of picking at least one ball with spots is it okay so that is how we are going to calculate is it okay so that becomes actually simpler so we'll just pick up the probability for the balls with with this spot it may be both or one right so it will be both or one so that should give you the answer so how are we going to do it now if you look at this path then the only one which has a spot is this one let me highlight those paths which we are not considering right so so we are not considering this spot now this spot this path gives us the probability of 6 over 20 times 6 over 19 do you see that because it has a ball which has a spot now this path itself is one which has both the balls i mean both or one at least so 6 over 20 so we may not even add this up i mean only this is enough so second one is 6 out of 20 in the third case this path here indicates that we have one orange right so that becomes 8 over 20 times 6 over 19. Do you see that? So all these three can be added up. And that becomes probability of picking at least one ball with spot. Do you get it? So this adds to probability of picking at least one with red spot. Without that is one minus this. Okay, so let's add this. And then... Uh, we'll find what is the probability without that. Is it okay? So, in the first case, we have, if I take a denominator of 20 times 19, then I could do this uh, 36 plus, let me multiply this by 19, which is 6 times 19, plus this is 8 times 6, 8 times 6. That is the numerator, divided by the denominator, which is, 20 times 19 and that gives me a number which is 99 over 190 is it okay so when you add all these three it becomes 99 over 190 right and now we cannot write down our answer that probability for it says calculate probability that two chosen balls neither has a red spot so neither red spot is let me push this a bit 1 minus 99 over 190 is okay which gives you 91 over 190 so that becomes your answer so our solution here is 91 over 190 and you could do with three options so that becomes simpler straightforward I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thanks, Irum, for sharing this question with me. And all the best.